Sarah, hello. Princess. <laughs> Isn't it nice our kids are going to prom together? Reminds me when you and I went to school. It was nice of Sebastian to invite Alyssa to go along with him. I didn't think she ran in the same circles. She may need a little extra time to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's where the weirdo lives. Sebastian, what are you doing here? I've never been to this part of town before. Is that your house? What are you doing? No one will believe how pathetic your house is unless I have proof. What are you even doing here? Don't you live in some rich neighborhood across town? I had to see where you live. I made a bet with the other guys on the football team. I told them that you're way too weird to be from our side of town. It looks like I was right. Please don't show those pictures to anyone. I'll do whatever you want, just delete them. Fine. I won't show anyone. If you'll be my date to prom. Are you serious? Everyone will think it's hilarious if we show up together. And if I say no? Let me make myself clear. You will go to the dance with me this weekend. Or I'll show everyone these photos. Then they'll all know how tragically poor you really are. Hello there. Hello, ma'am. I'm Sebastian. Captain of the football team, Sebastian? The very one. Oh, it's not every day we have a visit from such a young, handsome man, is it, Alyssa? I was just asking Alyssa if she'd like to be my date to prom this weekend. Oh my goodness, that is so sweet. Of course she'll go with you. No, I won't. Alyssa, shame on you. You should be more grateful that Sebastian came all the way out here to ask you out. Your first big date's supposed to be exciting. <laughs> You can pick her up at seven, Sebastian. Alyssa, what has gotten into you? You were practically drooling all over him. Nonsense. I'm just excited for you. Don't you want to go to the prom with him? No. He's a total jerk. I'm sure that's not true. He seemed perfectly nice to me. He was taking pictures of our house to show everyone at school just how poor we are. Oh, hi. Boys are jerks to the girls they have crushes on. I'm sure he didn't mean anything by it. Yes, he did. All the kids at school are like that. They all make fun of me. Well, maybe if you put a little more effort into your appearance, then they wouldn't have anything to make fun of you for. You could wear makeup and some brighter colors to seem more approachable. You always wear such dark, drab clothes. So you want me to be more like you? No. I want to keep you from becoming like me. You were the most popular girl at school. Your life was perfect. Exactly. And now look at me. Divorced and living in this broken down house. But there's still a chance for you. Sebastian comes from a wealthy family and if you could get in good with him then things can turn out better for you. You could be popular and marry into a good family. But you are going to the prom with him, or you can say goodbye to art school this summer. You can't do that. You promised I could go. I spent all your working to save up for that program. And now I'm promising that if you don't go to the prom with him first, you will not be going. <sighs> Trust me, this is what's best for you. Sarah, hello! Princess! <laughs> wow, look at you, decorating away. <laughs> Isn't it nice our kids are going to prom together? Reminds me when you and I went to school. Well, I do think it was nice of Sebastian to invite Alyssa to go along with him. I didn't think she ran in the same circles. She's broadening her horizons. Like mother, like daughter. Always reaching for things that are out of your league. <laughs> I was really surprised to find out that you two don't live around here anymore. Sebastian told me that he had to go all the way to the other side of town to get to your house. We moved a few years ago. Oh. Well, how's your husband these days? We're not together anymore. Oh, no. Oh, my. What a shame. What a shame. You two were just so adorable as prom king and queen. It just goes to show you that high school romances never seem to last. <laughs> but don't worry, your secret is safe with me. 
I won't tell anyone about your divorce or your move. Thank you. That's so thoughtful. Of course. <laughs> oh, I also think it would be best if you dropped Alyssa off at our house before the dance. I just really don't feel comfortable with Seb driving in your part of the neighborhood late at night. I'm sure that you understand. Let's say 5 p.m. sharp. She may need a little extra time to get ready. <laughs> Jody, hello! <laughs> I'm coming. I thought we agreed that you were supposed to drive Alyssa to our house before the prom. I never agreed to anything. Do you have any idea how inconvenient it was for us to drive all the way here? We're late. Everyone is already there. Is Alyssa ready? And why aren't you dressed? You're supposed to be one of the chaperones. Oh, we're not going. Excuse me? I'm not letting my daughter anywhere near your family. May I remind you that my son has pictures of your pathetic house on his phone? We can show everyone in town just how far their old prom queen has fallen. You and your awful son can show those pictures to whoever you want. We might not be wealthy, but at least we don't make others feel badly about themselves. We don't use blackmail to get what we want. Come on, Seb, let's get out of this disgusting part of town before we get robbed. Go, oh, Mom. That was amazing. <laughs> what made you change your mind? The other night, when I was talking to Francesca in the gym, it reminded me just how cool the popular kids in school can be. And it made me realize I was acting just as badly as they were. I can't believe I tried to force you to go out with that boy. It's really okay. No, it's not okay. Sebastian may have blackmailed you, but I did the same thing by saying I would take your art school away from you this summer. It was selfish. I was just stuck in the past, I guess. Do you think you could ever forgive your imperfect mother? Of course I can. I know you're just worried about me. I'm sorry if I made you feel badly about yourself. That was about me, not you. Thanks, Mom. You do look lovely. Yeah, it's not really me, though. So, what should we do now? Well, I was thinking about making some popcorn and turning on that sci-fi channel you like. What is it, the River of Truth Network? I thought you wanted me to get out of the house more and stop watching those weird TV shows. I do, but I also want to learn about the things my daughter likes. <laughs> I know it's a tough pill to swallow. Today I caught her in the act. She was about to crush Anna's phone. Crush her phone? Where do you come up with all of these stories? Mark my words, I will take it to the principal, then to the school board, I'll take it to the regional director if I have to.